Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Seema Desai. I am the Platform Success Manager at Ingram Micro. Uh, welcome to a webinar for our Cloud Marketplace PS integration and Open API updates. Um, if everyone can hear me, can I please request you to kind of put a yes in chat, please? And we're also going to give everyone a couple of more minutes just to kind of, you know, stragglers kind of join the meeting as well. Thanks. All right, so good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for joining us today for a webinar regarding our marketplace PS integration and open API updates. Uh, my name is Hemant. I'm the platform success manager at Ingram MicroCloud. And we also have Zing Fan, who is our integration con consultant. Uh, today's focus will be towards our Cloud Marketplace API and Zing will take you through his uh, slide deck and demos, what he's presenting. Uh, prior to that, I'll briefly take you through our current current in-house built integration on Marketplace, which is for ConnectWise, and show you basically what it does currently. So, uh, Zing, if you can go to the next slide, please. All right. So, uh, as you may or may not be aware, we do have in-house built ConnectWise uh, integration that connects Marketplace into ConnectWise Manage, and currently these are all the functions that currently performs when you're going to implement the, inter the integration. So we have billing aspect with orders, uh, changes, which, which is basically change orders and amendments that you make on Marketplace, they get reflected into ConnectWise Manage. Uh, customers, which is a two-way scenario where you can actually port customers from ConnectWise Manage into Marketplace or vice versa. Uh, products, which is catalog. Uh, you also have the ability to kind of push across our catalog into your ConnectWise Manage in case you want that lineup so that it has the same description on both ends and details as well, including SKUs and additions as well. So that would be basically a syncing side of things. Um, you, we do have the option for you to enable automation uh, by which you can choose to sync from Marketplace to ConnectWise Manage either every five minutes or on a daily basis. Uh, that is an option you can switch on, otherwise you can always go and do it manually as well. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so this is this is the, the current ConnectWise integration capabilities. And on the right, you kind of get a preview of what it looks like. So put very simply, it's really easy to kind of map your customers across because once you've gone ahead and connected our integration to ConnectWise, you will basically see a scenario. If you've used ID Sync before with us, or you're currently using it, it's a very similar view where you're seeing Grim customers on the left, and you get the option to pick your ConnectWise customers on the right because they might be, you know, worded slightly differently on both ends, so you can kind of line them up depending on how you worded them on each side. Once you've done that, then basically you'll go ahead and start syncing your uh, customers, which will allow you to sync your customers to your customers' agreements on ConnectWise Manage, and so on and so forth. So these are the current fe uh, key features we have and uh, support features. We also do have a roadmap in terms of what we are building out and then I'll, I'll speak to that in a little bit. Uh, next slide, please. Yep. 
that's the one. All right, so and this is basically where we are at. So if you're using ID Sync or have used ID Sync in the past, we've already hit parity. That means we already have all the features that ConnectWise offered you in terms of uh, integrating to ConnectWise Manage. And there are certain features that are can't be planned uh, around a bit of automation and, and you know, auto syncing and also having a two-way flow between ConnectWise and Cloud Marketplace as well. Uh, you will receive a copy of the slides, so you will have all this to kind of go through in detail if you need to, but this is just a quick view of what the features are. Uh, next slide, please. All right, steps to get started, right? So basically, this is the process you'd go through to get your integration set up on Cloud Marketplace. First step being just reviewing our documentation. It's very, very well laid out. It also includes any updates we go through, so any iterations of the, the actual uh, integration that we create are listed there for you so you can see the changes we made and again these changes are based on feedback so we're always looking for feedback from our customers in terms of you know what user experience is like whether you like us to change something you want us to add features because again this is an ingram built in-house uh, integration so we do have the capability to improve it and change it to what suits our customers um, the second step is basically you go into the integrations tab. You'll see this connect wise style right there. You click on manage and you start by basically connecting it into your connect wise manage instance uh, by your uh, subscription keys and your domain. And then you can basically go to the other options in terms of whether you want to allow us to modify an existing line that is created or cancel and create. Uh, we also have a link to the video. Uh, so James is also on the call today. He's one of our specialists and platform success managers on the US team. And he's one of our experts regarding the integration as well. So he's basically created a walkthrough video for you guys that you can go through in detail and you can basically side by side do it with him. And that should basically answer most, most of the questions and issues you might have. So I would encourage you guys to kind of go through that as well. And then basically the third step is just integration and the mapping across and step three and four, in fact, are just that. Uh, there are a few things you kind of have to set up prior to doing the integration, which is obviously setting up your customers, make sure that the currency is set up correctly, agreements and products. Um, if you don't have products set up uh, the way it's on marketplace, you can port them across and that's part of the guide as well. So please, please refer to the uh, our knowledge base guide. And finally, the synchronization, which is the auto synchronize or manual, if, you, if that's what you prefer. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so these are some of the FAQs uh, that James has basically built out for us. And thanks, James, for this. Uh, these are the most commonly asked questions that we get. And just quickly go through them. What is the cost integration? It's absolutely free for you guys to use. It's built by us for you to make your billing easier. So you spend less time, uh, you know, reconciling stuff and just have something ready within your system to invoice your customers when you invoice your customers. Um, where can you find the information? We have it on our knowledge base, which is kb.cloud.im. You can just search ConnectWise integration or you can just uh, click on the text link right here. Uh, are we gonna have more additions to this integra uh, integration tab? Definitely. So we are slated uh, next for Autotask. That's due to be released uh, mid next month. And then we also have for this year, uh, QuickBooks, uh, Dynamics 365 and Zero, Zero come as well. And then we have a few coming out next year as well. So we will keep you guys informed when new integrations are coming on Marketplace. So if you, you know, when you want to move across Miley Sync to Autotask or ConnectWise, you'll have the option to do that. Again, this are all, these are all created by the Ingram Micro Platform team. So these will be consistently uh, uh, improved upon, uh, features added based on feedback, obviously, and you'll have uh, constant support. Uh, I'll just read, get you to read the next few of them. And if you have, look guys, if you have any questions, sorry, I should have mentioned this before. If you have any questions, please, please type it in the Q&A chat box. And uh, James is, is basically helping us answer some questions. So he'll definitely be able to answer any technical questions you might have. So please use the Q&A box for that. Uh, next slide, please. All right, so uh, just to kind of, for me to finish off and hand, hand it off to Zing, 
Uh, if you have an interest in the API, you want us to kind of have a chat around what the capabilities are, or if you want us to demo the, the solution before you actually go ahead and look at the implementation, please reach out to myself. We will uh, send out all our contact details towards the end. Uh, actually, no, we'll be sending out an email after the, the webinar, and that will have all our details. And yeah, please, please reach out. We'll book in a quick meeting, go through what you guys want to do. And again, if you have any questions, please put them in, in chat, or you can reach out to me later on as well, if you like. Uh, thanks, everyone. Over to you, Singh. Thanks, Simon. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Singh Fan. I'm the integration and API consultant from Ingram Micro. And uh, today, I would like to give you a brief introduction of uh, what our marketplace API is and uh, what the use case will be. And later I will show you a demo, uh, a, a quite detailed demo on how to use our marketplace API, what can it do and what information can it update to our marketplace and what kind of information it will provide you with. So uh, first a brief introduction of marketplace API. This is uh marketplace actually marketplace service which is free of charge it is kind of an integration tool to build a link between two systems one is your end and one is marketplace end it's more like a gateway to provide a uh, two-way data communication so with your own system it's more like a, a e-commerce system for example crm system or erp system and for marketplace, it is a portal that you work daily with, and um, it provides information. Uh, it provides services, for example, like e-commerce, like account management, subscription, or give you some related related data report. So here is the use cases of marketplace API integration. For example, billing, customer management subscription management and the product uh, product management, all those kinds of things. So here is a detailed example of how our marketplace API help you to build your own e-commerce system. Um, uh, for example, we got a partner and uh, the reseller's e-commerce system will need to have a product catalog, to have customer access, to have uh, uh, to let customers to perform some checkout function. So in order to do all these kind of things, we need some information. For example, for the product catalog, we need to get product information from marketplace. So you can do it through the RP, uh, marketplace API. And as for the customer management, you need to get account details or insert some new customers into our marketplace. So you can also do it via our marketplace API. It's packed like a gateway to, say, as I just said, provide two-way communication between two systems. As for the uh, checkout function, you will need like some other uh, order management, product information, and uh, subscription information, those kind of things. You can also do it via the marketplace API. When you uh, when a customer places an order here, it will push some information into our marketplace, and uh, the order details will change here. So, like I just said, two-way communications. You can push information to here, and you can retrieve information from our marketplace. By doing so, you can build your own e-commerce system, and uh, it, it's highly customized. You can just uh, uh, say get the information you need doing the scripts that you need to enhance you, your own e-commerce system. And uh, as for the CRM system, it will apply similar logic with the e-commerce system. For example, you need to uh, manage your own customer and manage the subscription of that customer. We have a specific subscription function to provide subscription information like we we'll create an order and uh, then we automatically generate a subscription in here and then you can retrieve this subscription here use the subscription function and then get the information you need to 
for your own ERM system. A similar logic will apply for ERP system as well. The customers and the orders will be, uh, I can say that exactly the same as uh, use CRM system and the e-commerce system, but we provide more than that. One is uh, uh, rated data. You can retrieve a data report from marketplace in your own way. Like you can select the time, say start time and end time of that report, the format of that report. It is a report provides kind of detailed information of all the the analysis needs. So you can retrieve the report from our marketplace, give it to your finance team, and let them to do some analysis or doing the, say, beautiful PowerPoint, uh, beautiful Power BI dashboard, all those kind of things you can use uh, information from here. So uh, after talking about those uh, fancy functions that you can make, uh, using our marketplace API. One of the prerequisites for our, using our marketplace API is you need to have your own software development resources. Because marketplace API is a um, uh, very open RESTful API and you can get information in JSON format. It's uh, somewhat technical, but uh, super easy to use. And uh, but you need to have your the uh, kind of control over your e-commerce system, CRM system, and ERP system. All those scripts that you have to make by yourself, and uh, then you can customize uh, you can customize your own uh, system and integrate with marketplace. So uh, our Marketplace API is free of charge. It is very easy to access. I'll show you later in the de in a, a demo to take you through from the start to how to set your, uh, how to get your Marketplace API account and uh, how to create the first API call and how to do it, how to manage the customer, how to manage the order and how to manage the subscription and uh, eventually I will show you a demo on how to uh, get a, a data report from it. So here is also the step of setting up Marketplace API. I will also show you later in the demo. Uh, for example, this page, you probably usually see it, but you, you probably don't have the Marketplace API here because you haven't purchased it. I'll show you the steps of how to get this button showing up here. So, uh, here are the resources. After you successfully purchase the Marketplace API, and uh, you will get uh, some resources, uh, for example, here. Uh, you will get the Marketplace API documentations, which is showing up here. Uh, we can show it, yeah, it, it is already showing in the chat. So you can just access it even if you haven't purchased Marketplace API, but uh, there is a more easier way to, a easier way to access this documentation after you purchase it. And uh, this is the uh, ConnectWise integration vid guide and video that Heyman just mentioned about. And uh, after you integrate, uh, integrate with our marketplace API, uh, with our marketplace, you will get uh, very comprehensive support. You will get support for both marketplace API and ConnectWise. It depends on what kind of integration tool you are using. And uh, we have nearly 24, I won't, I won't say 24 seven, but at least 24 five because we have a uh, marketplace API uh, integration and uh, API consultant team all over the world and they cover nearly all the time, time zones. As for me, I'm covering the uh, Ocean Pacific region and uh, feel free to reach me if you have any questions related to uh, marketplace API or integration. And uh, we have also um, 
uh, entire team based in US. For example, teams, uh, James is here in the call, and uh, if you have some technical questions related to ConnectWide, feel free to share it in my chat. And uh, yeah, we've got also got team members covering Europe and uh, US regions. They just uh, feel free to join us with the integration and you will get a comprehensive support. And besides that, um, we will introduce uh, uh, briefly about Marketplace API and uh, ConnectWise integration. We also have other kind of uh, integration solutions, like uh, currently Zapier is on its way. It's available in Zapier uh, by invitation. So if you have successfully purchased the Marketplace API, and uh, you are interested in, uh, say, you are familiar with Zapier and interested in building an integration solution using Zapier, feel free to contact me and uh, I'll ask the team to send you an invitation of Marketplace via Zapier. And then you can, say, build your own integration in Zapier. And as Heyman mentioned, more and more integration solutions is on its way. So. If you are familiar with other tools and uh, are reluctant to change to uh, the three that I just mentioned, feel free to wait and uh, new solutions is coming up as way. So here is the link of the Marketplace API and you can have a read of this uh, link. It provides you with some introductory information and uh, show you how to access our Marketplace. So that's all for the um, introduction. I'll show you a demo of uh, a detailed demo on how to can we access the uh, marketplace API. So I'll show you from the start. Uh, okay. First, we come to the usual cloud Ingram Macro portal, and uh, then we log in as DMP account. And uh, here is our internal account, and I'll just sign in. So here is the portal that uh, you must be very familiar with. Um, here is the marketplace API button that I just mentioned. You won't see it, probably won't see it in your own account because you haven't purchased it yet. It is a free of charge service, so feel free to purchase it uh, together with me. Uh, first, we come to the marketplace and we search our product marketplace API. Mm. And then we can see the service plans showing up here. We can just do the usual purchase process, like this one. We can add it to cart. I've already added it to cart. So if you haven't do that, feel free to add it here. And after you successfully add this service to your cart, go to your cart. And uh, you can see that it is a monthly based service. It is free of charge, zero point zero zero dollars. And uh, your card is ready. And just click next. And uh, then you can perform the usual buy button to successfully purchase the service. If I uh, click the buy button, it says that there is a conflict because I've already got the Marketplace API service here running. And, uh, but if you haven't purchased it already, you can purchase it in your uh, the usual purchase process and you can get Marketplace API service coming up here. So I'll just come to here. In your Marketplace API, you will get uh, some information here which are all very important. There is the API URL. You will need that URL in every API call to say, 
you will do the at post uh, some kind of perform uh, some kind of performance by this uh, URL. And uh, here is the more easier way that I just mentioned to access your documentation. If you forget about the um, uh, marketplace API documentation link, you can just log in into your own portal, go to marketplace API, and go to documentation button here. And in here, you will get uh, the detailed documentation here, and you can follow the documentation to uh, to do your own script, or you can refer to some specifications when you are actually doing calls or have questions on any of the calls. Me myself refer to this very often. For example, we can uh, get customer list, for example. In our documentation, it shows you what kind of information you need to provide to the API call, and uh, it show you a sample of what kind of uh, show you a description of what kind of information you will get from the uh, API call. Like you will get the uh, say correlation ID and uh, the data of the API call of a a customer, and uh, all those kind of things. I'll show you later in the Postman example. So here will uh, the specification will be a detailed introduction of what specific API call you will need to perform and what response you will get. And here is a how-to article to guide you through the entire process of how to a uh, set up your own marketplace API uh, a, uh, scripts, like how to get started and uh, how to identify products, all those kind of things. And uh, this one will be your marketplace API username. You need to click it, and uh, for the first time you log into this page, you probably don't have the password if your username is different from the one that you log in. So you will need to set your password here. At current stage, this page is available. It is uh, no issue. And our dev team is uh, working very hard to fix this issue right now. So soon it will be available and you can set up your account uh, as expected. But at current stage, if you are you you are a newcomer of a marketplace API, you cannot uh, set your password for now, which is unfortunate. But uh, I'll show uh, I'll introduce how to say set the username and password just by word. So when you first uh, Zing, can I just interrupt you for a second? Um, yeah. Guys, if you aren't able to reset your password, uh, mm -hmm. just reach out to us and we'll get sorted for you guys. Yeah, okay. That's right. more easier. Yeah. Thanks, Simon. So as for the daily process of setting up your password, you can click here and then it will direct you, uh, will direct you to a new page. In that page, you will be required to provide a, a email address and after you successfully provide that email address, you can click, there's a button named reset your password and click that. After that, you will get um, a link sent to the email address that you provided and you can set your password from there. And uh, at current stage, since this is available, you can just reach out to us if you want to join and uh, we, will start, uh, we will set a password for you. And uh, for the subscription key here, it is uh, a kind of authentication. Our marketplace API use a double layer authentication or authentication way. We use, uh, for example, for every API call, we will have a token which will be valid for only 25 minutes. And you use that token 
and the subscription key to perform all your API calls. So I can show you that what my subscription key is, but you cannot do anything because you don't get my token. But if you have uh, both the token and the subscription key, it will be dangerous. So uh, please say keep the subscription key and the, the token safe. And the token will be generated with your username and password. So remember to keep your password safe as well. So that's, a, that's all about how we can get a marketplace API service from the portal. Now I'll show you some example how what we can do using this marketplace API. Uh, for example, for safety purpose, uh, because I need to show you the token here, although it will be valid for 25 minutes, it's still not quite safe to expose both the token and the subscription key at the same time. I will use the app environment, which is a different account from this one. So whenever you want to uh, start with your marketplace API. You need to generate the token first. And uh, you also generate your token. You need to provide a username and password and the subscription key as the say, header of the API call. And you post the information to this link. This link is different from one that's showing up here because this is the prod environment and this is the dev environment. If you want to get started with Marketplace, if you want to apply for a dev environment, feel free to reach out to us and uh, we'll set up a dev environment for you and uh, you can play with the API calls using dev environment, which will be safer. And here is the API URL, although different from this one, but uh, it, as I said, it's a dev environment. And then we slash token to go to the token directory. And we post all these information, the username, password, and the subscription key to this URL. Also, we need to uh, specify the, the API call body as well. For example, this one will be US because it's a dev environment and dev environment will always be US. As for the, uh, for example, this one, this is actually a broad one. And this one will be AU. So it will be different. Uh, remember to set it correctly. And then you will get the information that you need say after we set all these things we click send and in here we get the token response as expected and uh, we will use this token for all the api calls like customer management reseller management all these things as i just mentioned so uh, in order to make things easier in the postman I set up an environment variable, which is named the token. And uh, so after each API call, I put some code in test. We pass the response body to a JSON format data. And then we set the environment token as the token here. So don't worry about the code settings. We will share the entire postman collection after this webinar so you can play with that in your own time so after after successfully set the token as the environment variable we can come to here to do some actual api calls to get the from interaction with marketplace so as i mentioned this is a dev environment so all these information are fake is an example of customer management. We can do that 
a list of customer that deal of a specific customer create new customer or update a customer information. They several start from get the entire uh, customer list. So as we mentioned, we need to provide uh, as we mentioned about the two layer authentication, we need to provide the API call with a token. And we also need to provide it with a subscription key in order to make things easier. I create subscription key as a environmental variable as well. So they are all set. And uh, then we can click set to this URL. This is a dev environment URL. And we sent it to our customers directory. And then we can get the information that we need. It's a customer list. We, for example, we can get one customer, two customer, three customer, and the whole list of that. We can see that the limitation is 10. It's default set as 10. You can set it in the uh, in the API call body if you would like to, following the uh, following the documentation guidelines, and then you can get more uh, customers as you require. So in each customer, we'll get their external ID, their status, like this customer is active, and with the name of customer, detailed address, contact person, those information. So for uh, Sometimes we don't need a whole list of customer. We just need to access information for a specific customer. We can get that one using this API call, which is slightly different because we go to one level inner into the directory, a customer directory. So we come to uh, here it's a customer and uh, we put customer ID here. For example, I'm querying the customer ID with 1000075. And we can also query customers, for example, the one just mentioned. Uh, the one showing up as a first here. So we can find that one as well. And uh, Remember to put the token the subscription key here as well, because we need to uh, we need that information for all API calls. And one other function that we may be interested in is creating new customers. For this one, the uh, authentication will remain the same, but uh, we need to provide some information in the body. For example, uh, this is an example that I created. Uh, I'll change the name to Test Inc. And uh, it's a US company and uh, it's called Admin J. So we will just send, send out the uh, uh, API call. We post information to the marketplace that I just introduced as a two way communication. And uh, a new customer will be created in marketplace which have the ID, which have one more number than the former ID. And uh, the name is one we just set. And uh, the contact person we just set. So after we successfully create that customer, when we retrieve the customer list, we can see it is showing up here. So similar process will uh, apply for uh, update a customer. You also need to provide some body here, and you need to provide uh, a specific customer ID here, so you can uh, update the information for that specific customer. And uh, don't forget to use the API call as patch instead of get and post. So that will be all for the. Uh, 
customer management service, and you can pretty do a lot of things using that those uh, API calls. And one other thing we are interested in is uh, product management. Uh, the product management is somewhat similar to uh, customer management. We also have uh, uh, the entire list of the uh, of the orders and uh, that full detail of specific order. Due to the time limit, I won't show you duplicate things. And uh, one thing that I need to mention is about changing order. We can update. Uh, we can update our order pro properties and status, but uh, if we want to change the quantity or uh, we want to make some changes on the existing order, for example, we have already uh, placed an order, but we want to say change the quantity of it or add a new product into it. We need to do something different from the customer change. When we change the customer, uh, when we change the order, it will be uh, we need to provide token and uh, subscription key as well. But uh, from here, it it is a post call instead of a patch call, and we need to change the type from sales to change. I'll show you when we create a new order. The type will be sales, but if we want to change an existing order, the type will be changed. And we need to provide the subscription key as well. And the subscription key should match the MPN for that specific order. And then we can update the quantity here. For example, I update it to seven. And uh, we can see that this, this subscription is updated to quantity seven. So here will be the order management. In order to say perform comprehensive function for your orders, you also need to manage the subscription. The subscription will be quite similar, quite similar logic for the former two ones. And one is retrieve a whole list and other is get a specific subscription. And we can also update the subscription uh, details like using the post to, uh, not this one, uh, using the patch to a specific subscription. And then we can update the information of a subscription. So that will be all for the, uh, say daily e-commerce system uh, management. I've showed you the uh, customer management, product management, and the subscription management. But our API can do more than that. We also have the pro catalog, uh, reseller management. We have validation management as well. And uh, those things I won't introduce in detail because they are quite similar to the, they are not as complex as the other ones. And uh, these uh, customer orders subscription will be the ones that we mainly use. And one more thing that uh, will be important for the billing system or your finance team to do some analysis is the report that I just mentioned. You can get a daily, uh, not daily, you can get a report, customized report from a certain period to a certain period, uh, to a certain time, at all as you set it. So we can see, we can use the same marketplace API call to call the report directory. And then we can get a whole list of uh, reports. Like, this report is uh, an example report, which won't have any benefits inside of it. But uh, when we have a look of uh, a real report, it will provide you with a lot of information, like uh, 
for example, this is one only one piece of data, and uh, it contains a lot of information that your finance team will need. It can make useful PowerPoint dashboard via it. And uh, as for me, this report is JSON format. You can customize it when you try to schedule your report. You can customize it, say, you can customize the format. Let me check the documentation here. If you want to customize your report, you need to first schedule a one-time report and then it will prepare a report for you. You can customize your format. We support CSV, XML, XLSX, and uh, JSON, and uh, we can also put uh, a simple text if you type unknown for it. And you can have a download URL. It will be a compress the file, and after you successfully download it, decompress it, and you can retrieve the format that you would like to have. So, yeah, that's, that will be all for the uh, introduction of Marketplace API. Thanks for your time. Um, yeah, since we still have some time, I'll show you some something new you can do via the uh, Marketplace API which is quite fancy. Uh, as we mentioned, the Zapier is at currently at its uh, test stage. You can have access to the Zapier using our Marketplace API. Remember, you need to purchase the Marketplace API first, and then you can get this subscription key. You can get your username and password, you can get your own authentication set, and then you can set your own Zapier. The Zapier is a, a very easy to use integration tools. I will build a test case between Marketplace API, uh, between Marketplace and my Outlook. It will automatically send me emails when a new customer is created in our internal account. So here is the app we just mentioned. You need to choose an app here. When you want to choose this marketplace, uh, Ingram Macro Cloud Marketplace, you can simply search it if you are not invited. So if you are quite familiar with Zapier and would like to do uh, Zapier integration with your own system, feel free to contact us and we'll provide you with an invite to the marketplace uh, via that here, and uh, then you can set this marketplace showing up here. And you can do some functions, uh, but not as comprehensive as a marketplace you can do using customized script, but there's still a lot of functions like new customer, new orders, and uh, those kind of things. When you choose account, you need to set, for example, how I'll show you how to create a new account here. You need to have a username, as I just mentioned. You need to get the username via Marketplace API. And you need to have your password. You can contact us, you can contact us to set up your password. And uh, select your Marketplace country, region, and then you need the API subscription key, which is showing up here. Okay, yeah. And uh, you can set your environment variables, but it's optional. If you got all of those information sets, you can create it. You can create an account like this one, and then you can link the trigger trigger event. For example, I got a internal customer, and uh, I can link this customer. If a new customer was created, then I can do some uh, some act in other apps. For example, I make an Outlook because it's easy to test. You can say 
at all the information, all the app events that you need to have on your own, a uh, on your own system that you need to integrate it with our marketplace. So uh, that will be all for the marketplace introduction. And uh, if you got some questions, feel free to share it by chat. Thanks all. Thanks for the time. Uh, thanks, Sing. Uh, so we had a couple of questions uh, regarding if ArcNet Wise integration is at parity with uh, IDSync, and yes, it is. In fact, it's gone beyond what IDSync offers you, and it will keep improving in the future. So yeah. uh, that's one of the questions. The other question we had was around how to get the marketplace API. So, uh, look, all you have to do, uh, Zing, can you just uh, pass on the presentation to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want to quickly show how easy it is to get the API activation. Uh, on yep. All right. Yeah. Let me know when you can see my screen. Yes, we can see it. All right, cool, perfect. So, like, all you guys have to do is go into your marketplaces. This is a demo environment. You just type in marketplace and it's the first option that shows up, right? So I'm just kind of gonna show you what it is. It is a zero dollar SKU. You're not buying anything. You're not gonna pay for this. It's yeah, just it's an activation fun. process. So you add this to your cart. It is a zero dollar SKU. You go and buy it. Once you've purchased it and it provisions, Marketplace API will appear on your left in navigation, and then you get access to all the information you require. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that answers that question. Again, guys, if you have any more questions, please put them in chat so that our uh, team can put them up in chat for us to have a look at. Mm I guess that's that's all the questions we had. And look, guys, you can always reach out to us. In the follow-up email that we send out to you, you will get the deck. Uh, you will also get a compilation of all the call-outs of the API that Zing has prepared for you guys. And you will also have a contact. So if you have questions, issues, uh, more than happy to kind of book in a quick Teams meeting, go through the issues you're facing so we can either give you a solution or resolution, or if it's something that our platform team needs to fix, we can get them included as well. So. Um, I think we'll end it with that. So thank you everyone for joining in and you know giving us 45 minutes of your day. Uh, we really do appreciate it and look forward to speaking to you guys in the future. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone.